Hello and welcome to a tutorial on hydraulic head and groundwater. Hydraulic head is a very important concept when you're studying groundwater or hydraulics. So let me define what hydraulic head is first. So hydraulic head is a, a measurement of water pressure or energy of a body of water above a, a specified datum. Uh, to put it another way, it's sort of like, like the potential energy stored within a body of water to move or do some type of work. And it's measured in units of length. And so there's an equation that can define hydraulic head, and it's called the Bernoulli equation. And this is what it looks like. So let's go through these, these terms really quick. So H is the total head, or the total energy of a body of water. Z is the elevation head, which represents the elevation of that body of water, and sort of the potential energy of that water um, at a certain elevation above a datum. P over rho W times G is the pressure head, and rho W is the, the density of water, and G is the gravitational constant. The pressure head represents the pressure contained within a body of water. So if you had water in a pipe um, and it was pressurized inside that pipe, that would represent the pressure head. And then V squared over 2G, which is velocity over 2 times the gra gravitational constant, represents the velocity head. And this is the energy represented by the movement of a body of water from one place to another. And so since we're talking about groundwater in this video, we can ignore velocity head. And we can do that because groundwater moves so slowly that we don't even have to account for the velocity of the groundwater. So this term just goes away. Okay, let's work through a little example of hydraulic head. We'll measure the hydraulic head of this body of water here. So in this example, we have a cylinder and the top half is filled with water and the bottom half is filled with sand. And there's a little divider in between the two and a plug right there in the middle, okay? So let's figure out the hydraulic head of this body of water, okay? And to do that, let's measure it right at the plug. And let's call that, let's call that C. And let's say this height is 10 meters. And we'll say this one is five, and then zero down here. So this is our datum. And we have five feet of water above five feet of sand, okay? So let's write out our equation total head of the system of the body of water will equal our elevation head at C plus our pressure head at C. Okay, so let's figure out the elevation head at C. So this body of water is standing five meters above our datum here at zero, right? And if we pull this plug, we know this body of water is going to drop through the sand and hit the bottom there, right? And so our measuring point C here will wind up down here at the bottom, right? the bottom of the body of water will be at the bottom of the cylinder when we pull the plug. And so that's a five meter drop. So that is our elevation head, right? Five meters. Now let's look at our pressure head at C. Well, how much water is on top of our measuring point there at C? It's five meters, right? There's five meters of water above our point C that are exerting pressure on our point C, right? So that's our pressure head. It's, it's five meters of water exerting pressure on our point that we're measuring. So our pressure head at C is five meters. So back to our equation, our total head equals five plus five, which equals 10 meters. Pretty simple, right? Uh, it's nothing too drastic, nothing too crazy. Now this will come in handy when we're talking about hydraulic gradient and head differentials, which make up a hydraulic gradient. Um, I'll post that video in the comment section. Um, I hope this video is pretty helpful. It's pretty simple and pretty basic, but it's important to understand the basic concept. If it was helpful, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one.